can you spot the grass? I don't think so, not yet winter came. I will show you later my <laughs> little video I shoot with puppies outside. So here it is my field, you see my tripod stain here, my toolbox, if I don't record it would be staying in here in the middle, to kind of one part in here and more up there, so it doesn't stay on the canvas itself. But right now, to not to make a shadow on my canvas, I put on a corner in here to kind of keep a little bit stable my frame that we with you put together on another side. And if you did not see my video how to frame it, I have a video for you that was posted on Tuesday, yesterday, or on Monday, on Monday maybe. So I did not start in here by myself. I'm waiting to work with you. I did work on my other project. Uh, I was working on... I will show you what I was working on last... No, yesterday, day before, I think. I was working a little bit on um, on my flowers. The, the vase thing. This is counted stitching, so I I'm going to show you that video sometimes okay and now i will start from the bottom on the canvas and oh the magnet is strong okay so in this situation how i start and what i would recommend find something that is less uh you would automatically think okay this like like I usually do on a diamond paint, what color stand out more I go after, I would go after orange probably, but this is different situation, diamond painting and it's not cross stitching, so cross stitch later harder to pick smaller, um, less cross stitches. So in here regularly you can pick actually here any color, I will pick in here um, this symbol uh, I should I would go after yellow probably first but it's while it's roll like this I unroll a little bit and the blue circle pop to me first so I'm not going to unroll canvas more we're just going to work on this blue symbols and I will start probably from the top because I don't see the same symbol in here anywhere so I will start from here and go down and then I will be zigzagging and go all the way in here and after that I would pick some other color so the orange color will stay this till the end and I will do this last and I don't know how much I can record without distraction because my phone non-stop and it's buzzing again uh, let me put on the tripod and we will hopefully can record some there is something absolutely insane today it's blizzard, it's after 3 o'clock in the morning, and it's thundering. This is first time in my life I see blizzard and thunder in the middle of winter at the same time. Insane. I don't know if I will catch it now, but first time was very, very loud. cold okay it's snowing overnight so much snowfall and they Daisy get in here get in here girl <laughs> they were going crazy over snow here you go a little bit of positivity for you hey Daisy go get the snow go get the snow girl <laughs> it's so deep Come on, go get it! Go get it! Go get the snow! Go get the snow! Go get it, buddy! Look at that! No, come here! <laughs> Dashing through the snow! Come on! Come on, buddy! Do a snow angels! Do a snow angels! Look at that! He's He's doing a holes. He's digging to China. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Go get the snow, Daisy. That's her first deep snow. Hey, girl. 
Where's Buddy? Go get the Buddy. What are you doing? The snow angels. Look at those two bunnies. I show a little bit of the uh, side. No, Daisy, get in here. Come here back. Come back. Buddy, get off the road. Hey. City trucks did not plow road yet, so it's all covered. Well, okay, let's let's try. I'm not sure how much I can record a video. Yesterday I did not have well yesterday that's not gonna be yesterday for you but on Tuesday no Monday morning we have so many calls because night before that we have big snowstorm and literally I did not have a minute to have phone not ring it was ridiculous. It was like, in some point, the phone was coming through like every second. I was having a so enough that, oh, okay, I just lost my thread, okay. I, that's the another way I show you how I do when it's, this canvas is super stiff, so it's not going this needle very, like not pointy needle. So I have to secure my thread a little bit differently. So now I'm just going to hold this tail with my finger like this. And hopefully you can see it. We'll go through stitches to secure in here. So I didn't have any chance to record video on Tuesday because it was not possible. I was overwhelmed with the uh, phone calls and because we have lots of contracts and all the people who called yesterday, those people who don't have any contract for the winter and it's just uh, like uh, private property they wanted to snow removal. And my husband said, don't take any new numbers anymore because the snow was falling nonstop and they have to go like twice to the same property to clean because it, it was very, very tough. And today, I still have today people calling nonstop because now when it stops snowing, Lots of snow everywhere, big banks of snow and people want to clean up. So that's why I mute my phone and I put on a, it's only like a vibration cycle in here. So at least I can hear that somebody call, but at least it's not loud because I thought my head gonna explode yesterday, to be honest. Okay, so yes, I'm happy to start this canvas again and oh my OMG about the snowstorm it was so weird Sunday night from Sunday and Monday when the snowfall started it was like a blizzard the snow was so hard going down and all of a sudden a thunderstorm but bang it was so loud my dog jumps off the sofa because they were sleeping next to me okay can you hear my phone calling I have to take a phone. It's probably gonna be lots of stops, but my friends, I have to, so. Sorry about that. I will have to probably stop video for many times. But if I wait longer, the sun will go down later and I will be difficult time to record video of that. So yes, uh, how many more new people got this canvas? Let me know. Oh, I can believe it, the phone call again. No, this is, I don't know, this is going to be even positive. Okay, I will ignore this one, this one from Toronto. Okay. 
Hansen, and I think you can hear her. I don't want you to hear her. So we were talking before I hang up phone about the thunder in the middle of winter. Like I didn't know this is even possible to have thunder in winter. I'm okay with spring. Sometimes I have like a late, late fall time. That's fine, but in the winter when it's snowing, I never think I heard before. It was so loud like in the summer and it went actually in three different times. So I was really surprised to hear thunder. Tell me if you experienced anything like this before. Because for me, I think that was first to hear a thunder in winter and it's so loud. It flick kind of light first. I thought, okay, it's storm. Probably lots of snow go through the electricity with little flick and all of a sudden a kaboom. Wow. Daisy and Buddy start barking, run to the door to know what is going on. <laughs> that was funny. It's not like they're afraid, but they like an alert to protect. Yeah. So this is 53, I think, that we stitch in kind of like a yellowish color. The orange color will be more kind of like to the white, probably, if I remember. That's what I have on the other side. So this house, uh, this part of the house, I should finish faster if I will work on it more often. Because uh, it's, uh, when I show you comparison to first house and this is last house, it's much uh, smaller, like on a top where the sky, this house is a little bit shorter. So I think I can make a progress a little bit faster in here. One more reminder for our new viewers. You can purchase this canvas at biggestcraft.com and this one is 11 count Ada and it's over 2 meter long. It's lots lots of houses, that's what it's called, European town. If you wish to Google and see what we are stitching here as a group, we have lots of fun, don't we? We play some games. Okay, I will try to stitch with two hands, so it's going to be a little bit, maybe, maybe faster. I will grab with my left. I'm getting a little bit better to work with my left and right. My right hand under the canvas and left hand catching up my threads on the top. It's still very not comfortable to work with left, but it's getting better every time I practice more. I think I'm getting a little bit even faster. This angle a little bit maybe too far from you, but I don't really want it to put my camera on a like tripod on the canvas itself, I might, will have to, I don't know. Well, you don't have to watch, you know, you just stitch your own canvas, what you're doing over there, or diamond paint. Okay. Oh, squirrel run in the window. I post short short video because the squirrel run away, run away very fast. They just climbing up window go to the roof and just travel back and forth. I don't know how they finding food right now with so much snow fall in one day. Because all this time so far we didn't really have a snow just like 
a little bit, you know, you very often see the view of my window that is like a little bit snow falls, still you can see grass through the next day or even afternoon, it's already fully grass, no snow, it's melt, like that. that's how it was all this time. And now this is like a true first snowfall, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's lots. It's a good weather to cross stitch and look on the road. Oh, people fight with snow yesterday. I was shoveling my deck and sidewalk try a little bit, which is, it was really difficult with my arm to do that, but I had to clean a little bit just for in case, you know, delivery or whatever. I don't think there's any even delivery was working. And my phone ran in again. Okay, I have to take a phone call. Alright, I think at this point I'm going to ignore the phone calls a little bit till if I see something important. It's, um, it's just a. Uh, and it's call again. See, non stop, I'm telling you. It is so difficult right now. I can't even record video, but it says no caller ID. I don't like to answer this kind of phone numbers. So put your name on the phone. All right, what are we going to talk about? Did you get a snowstorm in your area? I know it looks like um, Ukraine have lots of snow too. My sister, I was talking to sister not long ago. She said they, they do have a lots of snow, but looks like this uh, snowfall went through many country. Would love to know how are you doing up there? Hopefully you have not as much or even s safe with no snow. I always like, uh, on a good way, jealous the people who don't have snow at all. And I was like, oh my god, that, that is so good. The warm weather, sunny beaches, which we have pretty good summer in here. It was very really hot actually last year. Uh, so I enjoy my time by camp and by the, with the trailer by the lake. <coughs> but winter, winter is not my cup of tea. <coughs> okay, if you hear vibration noises, ignore. It's just the incoming calls non-stop. I missed yesterday over 100 calls. I don't know how many I answer. <coughs> I think I lost my voice even a little bit. <clears throat> oh, I have this tickle in my troll to make it maybe coffee or something. You know what I did last night? I started my cat. I did. I was thinking, thinking, and then I decided to start my cat. But you know what? <clears throat> that I did not know. One of my viewers, thank you very much, she said that that cat, uh, Hyatt, have that cat. I did not know that. So I check, I check their website. And their cat have 20 colors, a little bit smaller and supposed to be like on a 25 count even wave. My cat has 16 colors, so it's four colors, colors short in Joy Sunday. So I don't know, uh, I was thinking even if I should order chart from them 
and wash the canvas of my cat and just start to stitch what they have but it's only four colors so I don't think it's a big difference in four colors so I wasn't kind of like I don't know what to do and their chart if you want to buy it was I think 15 or 16 dollars just for the pattern uh, and that's in US dollars so to the time you buy fabric and threads that would be expensive so I decided to start on my cat an eye because I wanted to see if outcome will be beautiful then I will continue with the full cat if it's not going to be look very nice uh, then maybe I will purchase original pattern from them from Hyatt and then stitch the original it sounds like it's an artist a Russian artist who draw and and I check and they have she has like all cats just the cats I guess she's a cat lover so we'll see what to do I just I want to see how this gonna look like in Joy Sunday so I started last night just to put few little colors because I go from less color to more so I just did like a few stitches. I can show you actually since I already tell you. I was going to keep this surprise, not tell you nothing and just show you later. But if we look in here on the back, that, that's how much I stitched a little bit last night. So if I turn towards you, that's the eye, which you're not going to see much. This is the eye area and I did uh, see like a one color, two color, four colors so far in here and I just sparked because then I'm gonna go because this is one for the yellow, this one for the pink, that's why I park on a pink. So I will stitch this area and see if that look good or not. So that's just a little scoop what I did and I did not have much crafting yesterday but what else I did I think I did some kind of crafting oh yeah I did stitch more I stitched my uh, flower puppy by um, everyday crafts you know the one that I was stitching at the campground that one 11 count it was easy to stitch and I have a good progress up there. I didn't show you for a while, but I've been working on the canvas on and off. So I'm kind of getting a little bit, even you don't see too much on, on my channel. I do have some progress on some canvases a little bit. And in one day, sometimes, when I feel like I have enough to show you, I will create video and show you. Because I know I'm creating three separate videos right now that I kind of started and those clips still on my camera uh, on three canvases. And those canvases, two of them counted cross stitch and one of them my tomato stitch if you, if you, if you remember from pencil tomato um, canvas. That one I just need one more time to sit down and stitch together with you and that video will be ready. I just need to get to it. You know, you know, you know how it's work. I know this is not the best angle for you to watch. I might well put my camera on a canvas let, let me readjust a little bit to different or or no you know what no because <laughs> this video already have so many steps let not to make it one more extra let's just do this video like this okay so i tear my christmas tree down put on the box already i just have a uh, ornaments to put away uh, literally I was just didn't have uh, any chance to do this yesterday and I just need to pull out and 
put everything to the storage box. At least it's trees out. I clean, I vacuum, I dust everywhere. So it was basically cleaning time for me. House look bigger now, at least when Doug running around in here, not going through the tree. Because <laughs> sometimes I was afraid when they excited and start wiggling their tails and sometimes kicking a, my ornaments on the tree and they are glass next year I think I will not put any glass ornaments and just uh, do a plastic ones and fabric ones whatever I have that way it will be more safe with puppies running around Daisy loves snow you know because before when I took her outside when we didn't have a lots of snow but weather was cold she wasn't that impressed but now she's running like and having a fun all right I changed a little bit camera view since I have to answer important call anyway I am very sorry this video will be so broken like this but now I put my tripod on the top of my canvas so maybe you will get a little bit more close to my stitches in here I don't know if this will create a little bit movements of the camera maybe I'm not sure yet but we will do slowly Schools was closed because of the snowstorm. Today, uh, Catherine wake up seven o'clock in the morning and check website of the school, and this then say it's um uh kind of like you know you choose today if you wanna go to school or you can be online. So she decided to stay home because it's a uh, lots of snow to dash through not everywhere clear yet plus I wouldn't want her to go on this weather yet to school so she's buzzing around home I have one more video to do review the unboxing maybe later on I will be able to record and more piece I'm not sure or I should just wait till this snow situation will clear up Now I know that um, the cat that I just show you, some of my lovely viewer ordered that one cat and waiting also. We can maybe even try to stitch together. I did not do any progress yet on uh, Catherine's image that I stitched for her well I just need to really concentrate on that one and with the phone calls coming every second it's not possible to do so I have to really concentrate If 
you hear buzzing, it's just a phone non-stop. It's really gonna give me headache today. That's what people need to think about seasons before it's come. They don't think of this in the summertime that need to be prepared for the winter because they don't want to pay extra money when it's no snow. People who know what's going to happen when the snow falls like this, they know they will be taken care of and they call us for the snow removal business when it's still summer. We could camp on a summer and people are already calling for the snow removal business. That's that's the way you do it. Usually by September we are already all full in contracts. You can't really predict winter when it's time like a season of grass cut, you know. Even if it's rain it's still better than snow hard to get everybody on board. So that's one that's what kinda my job is. I'm staying home and take care of phone calls. That's why I have so much time to do my craft. But now I know that all these people call and it's a private property. We don't take really much pro private property now. Some property is small and the plow truck doesn't go. I'm enjoying to working with this canvas because of this needle very easy for me to work with and I found one more needle that is good for 14 count also kind of you know sometimes needle look almost the same but it could be um, less slippery I would say sometimes you like poking through the canvas and you feel it go like a butter and sometimes you poking and you feel in those kind of like a greedy Mm, going through not so smooth and that's the needle not very comfortable to stitch with especially those needles that usually come with 14 count Ada they are super super thin and sharp and I have to say that it's not very comfortable to stitch with them first of all they are very thin and Uh, the way you put, uh, for example, two threads and you doing like this, it's like will be four in here. And when you go through the fabric, you keep hearing those pokey sounds when it's go kind of hard through the fabric. But also, I have found needle that is kind of similar to this one that I'm stitching right now, but thinner not very sharp more kind of like a round and it's easy to go through the 14 count and that's what i'm keeping a, that one for every canvas i stitch in 14. very important to find a good needle actually it make big difference i'm telling you if you have a sore arms or wrist or fingers if you have arthritis it's really make a difference what kind of needle you stitching with. So if you find sometimes you have a hard time to stitch and your wrist hurt very much, maybe you need to change the needle for something that it go easy through your canvas. And you know those canvases right now are so stiff, like like my cat that I just started. It's so stiff, and I'm working with the sharp needle up there. And if I want to go through, like through the fabric in here, I can't even stick needle through. And that one needle so sharp, and I have, I'm fighting, fighting. That's how much like layer of this paint. I wish they would like a thinner layer a little bit, but very difficult to work with that kind of canvas. I think I might will be 
uh, rub in my hands and make a little bit canvas more softer to work with because it is going to be hard even like threads go through the fabric like in here you can hear those noises how it's rubbing through the fabric so that way will kind of damage your threads a little bit maybe you will cut your threads or make them more fluffy and you don't want that so yeah if you have very very stiff canvas i would say soften up a little bit first um, i hear some girls talking about canvas if it's not printed canvas clean canvas you can uh, put in a boiling water and that canvas will soften up but obviously we cannot do this with the printed design because we will lose design if we put in the water so the only thing is to soften your canvas it's literally just crunching your hands rub it like this to make um to make a softer so i think I'll, i will do that with the cat because that one is um very tough for it kind of you know it's good idea that it's tough that way your stitch stitches will more even and not squish together because when it's soft canvas then you can kind of if you like to pull your threads really tight you will have your stitches a little bit moved right but when it's canvas uh, stiff your crosses will or axis will layer nicely without pulling it you like kind of like you can control your threads but this one on a frame so i don't have to worry i kind of like the way um this canvas feels and with the frame it's really good to work like this i might have to order a few bigger frames like this one more that i'm working right now uh, i have some frames but they are already on uh, canvases so i can't i don't want to really pull them sometimes i pull from canvas and put the other canvas wherever i want to stitch sooner I have one square frame, big one, that I put on my winter image that I stitched already a long time ago, but I didn't finish, didn't even start up there on the back stitch. So that's frame kind of holding up there. I should finish. Mm. Yeah, I need to finish the back stitch. That way I will have a free one more frame because it's kind of like a waste right now. Okay, so this is how we zigzag to get our stitches. And the next color I will see, I will pick or yellow one or maybe this red lines because it's a little very little of them in here on the bottom. I might well go after this red lines, stitch them next. How about for the next cross stitch, we will pick color to work on. How about on 65? or depends where you are on a canvas it might not gonna work for everybody but i will be working uh next wednesday on number 65 and that's the this orange because it's lots of it by that time i should finish by myself to work on all this extra colors that we have in here to eliminate them first and then it will be everything over stitched with the 65 number on your panel and that we will create better background as well okay so now I have a very 
little tail left in here and I will create one more in here and that's it and I will make this video short because as you can see today it's a really tough day to record the video for me I really have to answer some phone calls Alright, I'm going to try to secure this thread on the back. Thank you very much everybody. So this is how much we so far created with you. This little patch of yellowish color. Next one I will do this little tiny red spots and then yellow. And after that I will go for this brown lines and axis. So red, yellow, brown, axis. That's it. All right. I will see you next Wednesday with European Town.